All rise for the Honorable Judge Roy Bean. I remain seated as honoring a command gives jurisdiction to the court. Is Mr. John Doe present today? I am here on that matter. The authorized representative of the defendant, one of the people of the Republic of California, in this court of record by special appearance to challenge jurisdiction only and will cross the bar, retaining all my unalienable rights and waiving none by agreement with the court. Come forward and sit at the table on your right. I will cross the bar retaining all my rights by agreement of the court. I can't hear you. Are you John Doe? You will have to step forward as everyone else does. I am here under threat and duress. I do not consent to contract with this court. I have not been shown any proof of claim that you are a lawful magistrate. I am the authorized representative of the defendant and for the third time I will cross the bar with all my unalienable rights by agreement of the court. If you are not John Doe I'm going to cite John Doe for failure to appear, so for the last time are you John Doe? I am the authorized representative of John Doe and no evidence to the contrary exists. Will the judicial officer of the state of California give me his name? I give the orders in my court and you are dangerously near getting a contempt of court charge. Are you an attorney, sir? I have power of attorney. In fact for the defendant John Doe in all capital letters and I am the authorized representative for the defendant. Let me see that power of attorney, sir. Who are you? Will the judicial officer of the Republic of California give me his name for the third time, or let the record show no judicial officer of the state of California is present in the court at this time? You are now in contempt of court, bailiff arrest that man. Bailiff, if you touch me, I will arrest you for assault with a deadly weapon. Do you understand? O.K. You can cross the bar with whatever rights you think you possess. I am here to challenge jurisdiction as no valid sworn complaint showing the required element of corpus delicti has been shown to exist. District Attorney, do you have a copy of the complaint? Is this a true copy of the verified sworn complaint? The District Attorney states it is a true copy. I object to the complaint and I demand the matter be dismissed for failure to produce a verified sworn complaint, as there is no signature or only the District Attorney's signature upon the complaint and the District Attorney is committing perjury because they were not present at the arrest and are entering here, say, evidence only. I'm sure we can straighten this out. Come back next week and we will have a valid charging instrument. I object. I don't consent to the district attorney being able to commit perjury and failing to show up with the required evidence to charge the defendant. The prosecution has dishonored me in this court by failing to appear with the necessary elements to proceed and therefore the matter must be dismissed. Wait I found the officer's sworn complaint, here is a true copy. I still challenge jurisdiction on the grounds that the defendant has not been shown to have injured or caused a loss with criminal intent to the plaintiff, the alleged people of the state of California. There is no real party of interest under federal rules of civil procedure 17a. Are you going to represent yourself in this matter, or get an attorney to represent you? I, object, I have not heard proof of claim that the court has any jurisdiction to proceed and I cannot proceed without bona fide proof of claim of the court and the district attorney having jurisdiction. If you will put your objections in writing with you points and authorities challenging jurisdiction and return in two weeks, the court will hear your pleas then. I object. Once jurisdiction is challenged it is the plaintiff's job to prove jurors decision, not the defendant's job to disprove it. Let me read the court case sites showing corpus delicti or proof of injury is mandatory in every criminal case. Objection. Overruled. We'll meet back here in two weeks. Exception. Objection noted for the record. This court is not proceeding according to the California Constitution. Article 6, Section 1 where it states every court in California must be a court of record. I declared this a court of record in my opening statement. In Black's Law 4th edition it states a court of record proceeds according to common law. There is no common law in this court. You are getting near contempt of court with your statements. I object. I conditionally accept the court can hold me in contempt of court for entering facts into the record upon proof of claim. I'm not going to hear any more testimony from you. You are ordered back here in two weeks. Pick up your copy of the court minutes before you leave. I object.